This Chinese painting comes alive as a bird flutters across the picture. It's a high-tech version of an ancient painting that is part of the collection of the National Palace Museum in Taipei. At a cultural and creative industries exhibition in Beijing in November, the museum brought these interactive remakes of the real thing to show audiences in China. It can bring the real paintings because the two sides have yet to agree on the ownership of the museum's vast collection of Chinese treasures. China has said in the past that the collection was stolen by the nationalist government when it retreated to Taiwan at the end of the Chinese Civil War in 1949. But Taiwan has insisted that a decision to move the collection of some 650,000 artifacts was a correct one, saving them from destruction during China's political turmoil. The museum's efforts to digitalize its collection in recent years make it easier for the museum to share its art and overcome political obstacles. At the China-Beijing Internal Cultural and Creative Industry Expo, there was little talk about politics as spectators enjoyed the displays from Taipei's museum. Visitors can make birds fly off by simply making noise or blowing. A total of 132 Taiwanese exhibitors participated in the event, the highest number in recent years. Taiwan also used the opportunity to share its commitment to preserving traditional Chinese characters. Mainland China uses simplified characters. This display shows the pictographs that were the origins of Chinese characters. This one, a horse-drawn carriage that eventually became the character for car or automobile. And these models show the trendy ways that ancient characters can be used today, such as on clothing and bags. And thus they can afford to travel to Taiwan. This is the closest Chinese people will come to seeing ancient Chinese art from the collection. CNA, Beijing.